In chapter 4, we get to explore triangles. So in ch section 4.1, we'll look at triangle sum properties. First of all, recall a triangle is a polygon with three sides. So our blue shape up here is a triangle. We name triangles based on the, num on the names of its vertices. So we have a triangle, and it has three sides, and three angles. And this triangle can be named either triangle ABC, triangle ACB, triangle BAC, triangle BCA, triangle CAB, or triangle CBA. These all refer to the same triangle. This triangle has sides AB, BC, and CA, and angles, we have angle A, angle B, and angle C. Okay, now that we have the basics, Let's look at classifying triangles. We can classify triangles based on either the triangle's sides or its angles. First, we'll look at classification by sides. If we have a triangle that has no congruent sides, for example, if ABC has sides of lengths 3, 6, and 8, then this triangle is called a scalene triangle. If, however, we have a triangle that has two congruent sides, then this triangle is called an isosceles triangle. And lastly, if we have a triangle that has three congruent sides, then we call this triangle an equilateral triangle. So take a moment, make sure that you recognize the three ways that we can name triangle based on their sides. Because now we're going to look at how to classify triangles based on angles. And there are four ways to do this. For example, if we have a triangle that has three acute angles. So we'll say maybe forty degrees, let's do sixty degrees, and we'll say that this one is also sixty degrees. Notice how every angle in this triangle is acute. Ooh, actually, we'll make this one 80 degrees. Since each angle is less than 90 degrees, then all three angles are acute angles and thus we have an acute triangle. Well, let's look instead what happens if our triangle has one right angle. 